grand old partisan, celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I honor George Perkins Marsh, born in Vermont, March 15, 1801. After graduating from Dartmouth, he practiced law and edited a book on ancient Native American monuments of the Mississippi Valley. While serving three terms in the U.S. House of Representatives, the erudite Whig helped establish the Smithsonian Institution. President Zachary Taylor named him ambassador to Turkey. Returned home, Marsh was elected to the American Antiquarian Society and was tasked by the governor to report on improving artificial fish propagation. He also served on commissions for rebuilding the state capitol and regulating railroads. President Abraham Lincoln named him ambassador to Italy. The nation's longest serving chief of mission remained at his post 21 years. Marsh was first to acknowledge the effect of human activity on the environment, writing in 1847, quote, it is certain that climate itself has in many instances been gradually changed and ameliorated or deteriorated by human action. His book, Man and Nature, or Physical Geography as Modified by Human Action, inspired early conservationism and led to the establishment of the National Forest System. He was remem remembered as, quote, an extraordinary man, a person of boundless energy, endless enthusiasms, and immense intelligence. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.